Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 10.35 a.m. according to Computer Clock on Wednesday, July 29, 2015. And the first draft of the script for my Castlevania fan film, Castlevania Dark Knight Prelude, is finished. Yeah, first draft's done. Um, I have sent it to three different people that said that they'd like to have a look at it. I heard back from one. Uh, so far, pretty pretty much positive. Um, some some stuff to work out, obviously. Uh, and I have I'm waiting to hear back from the other two. But yeah, first draft is done, and actually, I I had uh, I, I was near the end back in like December but for whatever reason I just I fell off and I was busy with other stuff uh, but I came back to it in June and again in July and first draft stuff it's 66 pages long um, to give you an idea the actual like novelization of the gameplay um, like of the game itself is 16 pages so that leaves 50 pages for everything that happens before and after uh, because Sonya's story isn't just the game it's you know I, I explored her childhood a bit and what it was like you know growing up and training and stuff like that uh, and then what happens to her after she gets back um, and tries to uh, have a normal life, such as it is. Um, so yeah, uh, th there are still things that I need to work out. I need to. Um, I still. I don't think Sonya uses all of the sub weapons yet, which I know she doesn't use them at all in the game. But I'm trying to have her use them in the movie because she she finds them. So she. She should use them, right? I don't think I have her use every single one of them, so I gotta fix that. I gotta. Uh, I don't think she uses all of her soul powers either. Well, it's not her soul powers. She gets them from the defeated stage bosses, but I don't think I have her use that. Well, at least not all of them. Um, so I gotta fix that. Um, she uses burning mode. Um. There's. She doesn't take any hits. It's like she doesn't take any damage or anything. Because I was going through. I was basing it off a long play that I watched. And. Um, yeah. So I, I need to. I think I need to dirty up the fighting a bit and have her get hurt a bit. I mean, maybe some of that can happen, like, in the montages, because I'm kind of vague about the montages. It's like, when she gets to, you know, repeatedly fighting the same enemies over and over again, it's gonna be done through montage, so it, you don't just see the same stuff and tedious detail over and over again. It's just, you know, montage, she's going through the area, um fighting, you know, enemies and stuff. I could have it be in there. Or I could write in some moments where she actually gets hurt and she has to use one of the soul powers to, like, restore her energy or something. I could try to figure something out. As it is right now, she's just... <sighs> she's apparently, like, the most awesome fighter ever because she doesn't take one hit. So... Um... Overall, I think it's a good story that I wrote. I mean, I had to use the whatever little story was in the game plus what was in the uh, instruction manual. Not just the American instruction manual, but the Japanese instruction manual. Because the North American instruction manual left out some of the story. It's not a long story to begin with, and it left some of it out, but I have 
found a fan translation of the story from the Japanese instruction manual. I'm using that. And by the way, at the beginning of the story, I have Sonia narrate, you know, using the exact wording of that fan translation. I've been told that it sounds awkward, which it does. So I gotta try and make it sound more natural. Um, she uses terms like other worlds and demon king and stuff like that. It's, yeah. Um, so, uh, there's cleaning up to do, obviously, and I'd still like to get some more people to take a look at it. Whether Castlevania fans or non-fans, um, just to give their opinions, give some feedback on it. Um, but yeah, uh, the actual like production of the of the movie itself is still a long way away. Uh, but I'm gonna just try to collect some feedback for a while. And just kind of let the thing sit. Um, and then get back to it and do another draft. Or maybe it'll be good enough to be the final. Um, the final version of the uh, screenplay. Who knows. Uh, but there's going to be at least one revision. So, uh, but that, that'll come later. Um... So, if anyone's interested in taking a look at uh, my screenplay, uh, let me know and I'll PM you with the link to it. Uh, and that's it. It's 10.42am uh, and thanks for watching.